Early 11th century French poet Chrétien de Troyes composed four tales about the knights of King Arthur's court, Arec and Denide, written c. 1170, Cliges, c. 1176, Evane, the Knight of the Lion, and Lancelot, the Knight of the Cart, both written from 1177-1181. Focusing on chivalrous deeds and aristocratic romances, de Troyes' tales are among the most influential works of medieval literature and a major source for Arthurian literature. De Troyes probably originated, among other things, the story of Lancelot and Guinevere's love affair. Eirek and Denide centers on the tension between the demands of love and the demands of knighthood. While the other knights accompany Arthur on his hunt, Eirek, unarmored, keeps Queen Guinevere company. A rude knight approaches and insults the queen's servant, so Guinevere orders Eric to follow him, Eric pursues the knight to a faraway town. There, Eric meets and falls in love with Enide, the daughter of an impoverished Vavasor. A contest takes place in the town in which knights compete for a falcon to be awarded to the most beautiful lady present. Eric defeats the rude knight and awards the falcon to Enide. Eric takes his new bride back to Arthur's court, where despite her humble clothes, her innate nobility is recognized by all. Some time later, people at court begin to whisper that Eric is so besotted with his wife that he is neglecting his knightly duties. Enide hears these stories and is upset. When Eric finds her crying, he orders her to prepare for a journey and sets out to defend his knightly honor with his wife for company. On this adventure, Eric defeats several knights, including two noblemen who try to kill Eric in order to abduct Enide. Although at the outset Eric orders his wife to be silent throughout the journey, she saves his life several times by warning him of danger. The poem closes with Eric and Enide becoming king and queen of Nantes. Cliges begins before the title character's birth, as his father Alexander, the son of the Greek emperor, comes to Britain hoping to become a knight of King Arthur's court. Alexander proves his mettle by helping Arthur to recapture Windsor Castle from the treacherous Count Angers. When Queen Guinevere notices that Alexander is in love with Arthur's niece, Seredemers, she encourages him to confess his love. Alexander and Seredemers marry and have a son, whom they name Cliges. Alexander takes his new wife and child back to Greece. His father is dead, and Alexander is the rightful heir, but his uncle Alice has claimed the throne. Alexander allows Alice to rule, on the condition that Alice not marry, so that on his death, Cliges will succeed to the throne. Alice agrees. Alexander dies, and some years later, Alice decides to marry, choosing the daughter of the German emperor, Phineas. Cliges at once falls in love with his new aunt, and his love is reciprocated, but naturally, it cannot be consummated. Like his father before him, Cliges travels to Britain to become a knight in Arthur's court. He, too, earns the king's favor and returns home as a knight. In the meantime, Phineas has devised a plan to be with her beloved. Using a magic potion obtained by her governess, Phineas fakes her own death. Cliges abducts the body and takes Phineas to a hiding place. However, Alice learns their whereabouts, and Cliges is forced to return to Arthur to ask the king for support to win his kingdom back. Fortunately, for Cliges, Alice dies in his absence, and Cliges inherits the kingdom and Phineas. Evane, the knight of the lion concerns a knight who must regain his lady's favor. Evane defeats the supernaturally powerful knight Esclados, winning the love of his widow, Laudine, with the help of her servant, Lunite. When they have been happily married for a while, King Arthur's nephew, Sir Gawain, convinces Evane that he must return to the knightly work of adventuring. Laudine doesn't want him to go, so Evane promises to return after one year. However, he becomes involved in a complex exploit and fails to keep his promise. When Evane does return, Laudine rejects him. Evane is grief-stricken. He pledges to find a way to win back Lodine's favor. As he is traveling through a forest, he encounters a serpent fighting a lion. Evane beheads the serpent and prepares to confront the lion, but the lion appears to surrender, and when Evane remounts, the lion follows him. In a fit of remorse about his broken promise, Evane tries to kill himself, but the lion roars and lies down at Evane's feet to dissuade him, and the two become firm friends. Lunid has been falsely accused of betrayal by a treacherous steward and sentenced to death. Evane promises to be her champion. On the way to defend Lunit, he encounters a giant who proves almost too strong for Evane, but the knight is saved from possible defeat by the lion, who tears off the giant's skin. A similar fate awaits the treacherous steward, who is crushed by the lion when he tries to attack Evane. The steward's two brothers wound the lion, which enrages Evane so much that he angrily kills both men. Laudine witnesses the fight, but she does not recognize the knight who has rescued her faithful servant. 
when she asks him his name, Evain tells her that he is known as the Knight with the Lion and returns to his adventuring. When Laudine has need of a knight services herself, Lunit suggests the Knight with the Lion. Laudine agrees, and Lunit suggests that in exchange, Laudine should offer to help the Knight with his troubled marriage. When Evain's identity is revealed, the couple is reunited, and Evain promises not to leave the castle again. Lancelot, the Knight of the Cart is the earliest known source for the Arthurian story of Lancelot's affair with Guinevere. The evil trickster Meligant has abducted the Queen. Sir Gawain speeds after them, and on the way, he encounters Lancelot, who rides so fast that he has soon ridden two horses to death. A passing dwarf tells them he knows where Meligant went, but he will only help them if the knights agree to travel in the dwarf's cart. Lancelot agrees reluctantly, since it is dishonorable for a knight to travel in a cart. Gawain refuses, following on horseback. The two knights overcome many opponents, and finally, agree to split up so they can cover more ground. Lancelot finds Guinevere in Gory, but she receives him coldly, later it is revealed that she knows he was reluctant to travel in the cart. He breaks into the tower where she is imprisoned and they spend the night together. Having cut his hand while breaking in, Lancelot leaves blood on Guinevere's sheets. In the morning, Melgant accuses Guinevere of sleeping with Sir Kay, a wounded knight who is recuperating nearby. Lancelot challenges Melgant to avenge this insult. Lancelot agrees to a one-year delay before the duel takes place. In the meantime, Lancelot is tricked and imprisoned, while Guinevere is released and allowed to return to Arthur. When the time appointed for the duel approaches, Lancelot persuades his captors to release him by promising to return after the fight. When he arrives, Guinevere asks him to lose, in order to prove his love for her. He allows himself to be injured, and Guinevere changes her demand, asking him now to win, which he does. Afterward, he is imprisoned by Meligant. In the final section of the story, probably written not by de Troyes but by Godefroy de Lagny, Lancelot is rescued from imprisonment by Meligan's sister, whom Lancelot had earlier saved from abduction. He returns home in time to fight Meligan again, cutting off his arm. The romances of Crétien and de Troyes explore many themes beyond their major motifs of love and chivalry, including Christian faith, moral self-development, and the nature of aristocratic power. The narrative structures of Detroit's romances are regarded by many as a key stepping stone in the development of the modern novel. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.